All right, today we're doing home fries, and I almost put on my title board here homemade home fries, but that would have been redundant. Um, here we go. Two potatoes peeled. We are going to quarter them, and we are going to give these a little bit of a boil first. Biggest mistake people make when they try to make home fries at home is they cook raw potato in the pan. When they start frying raw potato, it doesn't work. So I want you to take two potatoes quartered, put it in some cold water with a little pinch of salt, and I want these to be scented with garlic. I don't want to burn garlic as I cook them. So I'm going to smash a clove of garlic. I'm going to add it to my water. And I'm going to bring that up to a simmer. Now what's going to happen here? Number one, that garlic's going to infuse the potato a little bit with some nice garlic flavor. But I'm pre-cooking the potato about halfway through. So what I want you to do when it comes to a gentle boil, I want you to set your timer for 10 minutes. And in that 10 minutes, they're going to almost cook, maybe 70% of the way, but they're still going to be a little bit firm. You're going to drain them well, and you're going to let them cool. Now, not cold, but you're going to let, it, let them cool to room temperature or cold enough to handle. When they are, I want you just to chunk them up into a nice little stainless steel bowl, or any kind of bowl for that matter. But I'm going to cut them in like one-inch pieces. Then they're going to break up a little bit as you saute them. So uh, that's the size I went with. You want them a little smaller, a little bigger, ain't going to bother me. All right, in this bowl, we're going to add our seasonings. That's about a tablespoon of olive oil that I just drizzled in. I'm going to put in about a half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Well, why aren't you using fresh ground black pepper? I don't know. That is some paprika, very traditional in home fries. Um, not only does it give it a nice little bit of a sweet you know, flavor profile, but it helps that nice brown color at the end. And you didn't see it there because I put my hand in front of the light, which I always do to make that you know really nice shadow. But that was about a half a teaspoon of salt. And of course, we're going to adjust the salt later if we need some more. But mix that up, a little bit of oil, salt, pepper, and the paprika. Remember, it already has a little bit of uh, garlic flavor from the water. Now, in a saute pan, I'm using nonstick. I think that's pretty much what you're going to have to use here. High quality nonstick. I don't want the kind that flakes off and there's like metal in the potatoes. That's not good eats, as my friend Alan Brown would say. So on medium heat, with a couple tablespoons of olive oil, I want you to put those potatoes on in kind of one layer. Just press them down with your spatula. See, medium heat. And just let them sit there for about 10 minutes. And they will start to get a little bit crusty. See, pre-cooked potatoes make really nice, crispy, crunchy home fries. If you put raw potatoes in the pan, they just basically brown and cook, and they just really don't get a nice crispy crust, as easily at least. So after about 10 minutes, I'm going to flip them over once. All right, I'm going to kind of pat them back into a one-layer kind of arrangement. And then what I want you to do here is grab yourself about a tablespoon, maybe a little bit less, but about a tablespoon of cold butter, and just dot the top with the butter. And kind of go around evenly. All right, now what's going to happen here? This, uh, this little bit of butter is going to melt slowly down through the cracks and the crevices of the home fries. It's going to flavor it, of course. Who doesn't like butter? But it's also going to start to form a really nice golden brown crust underneath. Now, again, this is on medium heat, and you can just leave it on medium, maybe slightly over medium heat, the entire cooking process. So after about 10 minutes, now you're really going to see the potatoes that were not totally cooked are pretty much cooked now. And we're getting a really nice golden brown, brown crust on those. You can actually feel it with your spatula. By the way, that spatula is heat proof, meaning it's not going to melt, even at high temperatures. So make sure you got good equipment in the kitchen. See that golden brown? Now I'm still not happy. I want it even more crispy and crunchy and golden brown than that. So I'm going to go 10 more minutes on medium heat. And now we're getting somewhere. Now I got a really nice golden brown going on there. They're actually, you know, I can feel it with the tip of my spatula. They're actually, and to call them crispy is an accuracy. When I say crispy, I'm thinking potato chip. It's more of a crustiness. It's a, it's a crisp, crunchy crispiness. Like, I'm not going to invent words for this stuff. You know what I'm talking about. It's not that just boring brown, just biting into a potato. It's that nice crusty home fry that you usually only get at the diner. Now you can make them at home because it is really an easy recipe. Now, if you want, this is a very basic recipe. If you want bits of onion and uh, and green onion and red and you know uh, green pepper or whatever you like in your home fries, you would have put that in at the point when I added those to the pan. So do all everything I did, 
But if you want to put some uh, diced red pepper, something like that, I would add it right when you add them to the saute pan and you'll be fine, okay? But anyway, pre-cooking, the pre-boiling, uh, that's my mom Pauline's secret. And, uh, you know, now it's not quite a secret. Everyone, you know, the millions and millions of people that watch this uh, clip will now know. But anyway, I hope you give those a try. They really do make for a great home fry. And by the way, don't call them hash browns. Hash browns are grated. Home fries are chunked up. Enjoy.